So solidifying his environmental legacy, President Obama is taking new action to indefinitely bar offshore drilling in areas of the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans. Joining us right now is Murray Energy CEO Bob Murray. Bob, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Maria. So it's wonderful to be with you this morning. This action will likely make most of the eastern seaboard off limits to oil exploration. Uh, what does this mean for the oil industry? And do you think that this would be a definite, as we know what Trump has said coming in, that he wants to drill and tap into the resources in America? Well, it's apparent that President Obama and his Democrat supporters are going to do all the destruction they can to reliable, uh, uh, low-cost energy in the United States of America. It's a tragedy. It's not only banning the offshore oil development, but also the stream protection rule uh, relative to underground coal mining. These actions are illegal. Uh, Fourteen uh, attorneys generals have told the president and his administration that the stream protection rule is illegal in three different ways, and yet they have promulgated it to end underground mining. There is no environmental benefit from the stream protection rule at all, none whatsoever, and they used a 1977 law illegally to promulgate it. Uh, we need to stop it. Uh, this man is out to do all the destruction he can and his Democrat supporters before we're rid of him, Maria. Hmm. Uh, Bob, it's Mike Murphy. Um, I, I agree with the points that you're making, and this is kind of the theme that I see for this recent rally in the market, is that people are seeing the Obama administration do this, announce this yesterday, kind of, kind of sums up that the way they've handled the uh, business in this country, but, but also specifically the energy sector. So as we move into a Trump presidency, if we're getting just more common sense out there, we're getting pro-business decisions, I, I think that's what has the entire country excited for the coming year. Would you agree with that? Yes, I certainly do. The election of Donald Trump was a victory for the working men and women of America. And we're going to get this country going again. And it's showing up in the, in the stock market. These uh, regulations that are ending the low-cost, reliable electricity, mm -hmm. no environmental benefit, just an attempt to stop coal <clears throat> mining. Uh, the Trump administration will overturn these regulations uh, that are passed at the twilight of Obama's administration. Plus, the House and Senate will likely pass a resolution under the Congressional Resolution Act, which is rarely used, to stop these actions. And of course, Murray Energy has sued the Trump administration and the U.S. EPA also. But I think our first relief will be under a congressional resolution from the House and Senate and by the way, folks, that, his veto of that can be overturned with a simple majority, not a 60 votes. So we'll see if that's done before Mr. Trump gets in office. If not, day one, he'll end this insanity. Bob, it's Tony Saig. Turning to the drilling ban specifically, how important is it that as his new EPA administrator, President-elect Trump, chose Attorney General Pruitt from Oklahoma, who's been among the leaders that you suggest on the Attorney General level, challenging the Obama administration and their overreach in regulation, particularly when it comes to energy? How bullish are you about this selection? Oh, I am very bullish about it. Scott Pruitt is an excellent man. He has led the charge in lawsuits against the U.S. EPA, as has Murray Energy. We've worked together. He's an outstanding choice for the U.S. EPA. He will stop th this radical movement by environmentalists who came out of the environmental movement into the Trump administration, and they'll go right back now. People do not realize the destruction that this man and this administration and the Democrats have caused America in the cost and the reliability of electricity and other forms of energy. So